What's going on guys, Stefan here. I just wanted to give a little bit of an intro to the video that you're about to watch right now. This was recorded late December last year, so right before the new year. Originally, I didn't have any intention of putting this up. This was kind of just for myself, just putting the camera down, talking about what's on my mind, speaking off the cuff. But it's come across my mind that maybe I should put this up for you guys to see. This was during a very hard time in my career, my life. Um, for those of you that have been following the channel for a while now, You'll know that uh, a little over a year ago, early 2019, I made a video titled Saying Goodbye to England, um, basically leaving before the season ended, coming back to America, hoping to pursue some opportunities here. And this clip that I recorded that you guys are going to see soon kind of goes over this past year and what I've been up to. Uh, I think it's important to see the mental side of a footballer pursuing a contract, pursuing that next contract, and just how difficult it is. Um, I don't think it's talked about enough. Um, personally, I should have done a better job documenting it, but this is kind of what I have. Um, this is just talking to myself, talking to the camera, and I think there's a lot of value in it. So a little backstory there, but sit back, relax, and enjoy this. So first off, I have no idea if this is going to be turned into a video or not, or if this is just me rambling and venting, but the year's coming to an end, there's a few days left until 2020, and it just kind of has me reflecting on the year, and I see your guys' comments, I see you guys asking where I'm playing, what I'm doing, but honestly, I left my team in England, I played for Southport, my contract was up um, January 19th, 2019. So there's a couple days until January, so it's been nearly a year, so what have I been up to? Honestly, not a whole lot. I'm not playing anywhere right now, and I'm just going to talk. I'm at the field right now. It's 8 in the morning, just while I get ready to go out. Um, but yeah, it's been over 11 months without playing for a team. I originally left Southport. I turned down a contract until the end of the season because I left midway through the season because I wanted to come back to the United States to pursue opportunities in the USL and try to play here a little bit closer to home but it's been tough it's been really really tough so yeah I came back talked to a couple teams a few different agents um, and I even thought a couple teams well there were a couple teams that I, I thought were gonna offer me a contract I thought it was it was going to be nice and easy coming back, but that turned out to be not the case at all. Especially playing overseas, I thought that experience would make it easier to come into the USL and find a team right away, but that it just wasn't the case. So I came back late January. Um, the season starts, I believe, in March. My timing wasn't great with coming back. Um, most teams are already full. I got invited to one preseason trial with, it doesn't even matter which team, but it was... There was one week left in preseason. It was right before they, they kicked off in mid-March. Um, so yeah, it was it was very late. Most teams were already full, and unfortunately it didn't work out there. I stayed positive. I knew more opportunities would come. I just didn't know when, which is the worst part about playing soccer. You just never know what's gonna come up, when, where, all that kind of stuff. But Initially, coming back from England, I didn't want to wait until the summer to sign with the team. I wanted to get into a preseason trial. Unfortunately, it was only one opportunity. It was very late into preseason, but hey, that happens. But after that trial, the season kicked off, and I figured I'd have a bunch of opportunities come summertime when teams kind of find their form, figure out what positions they need, all that kind of stuff. But I waited months and months training every single day you guys see what I do I don't just pop out to the field to the gym every few weeks to uh to make a video this is what I do 
every single day. And like I said, it's 8 a.m., it's cloudy, it's dark, it's raining, it's windy. But I continue training, just waiting for opportunities to come, talking to my agent, seeing what came up through the summer. I had one more trial, but it was late towards the end of this past USL season. Um, and yeah, it, it just it didn't work out again. Um, I thought I played well, I thought I had a good chance, but unfortunately, it's just not what happened. So that was probably six, seven months after being back already. But yeah, we're on over 11 months now. It's towards the end of December. Um, yeah, it's honestly, it sucks. It's depressing, but this is kind of what I signed up for, but, and it honestly, it's tough to stay positive. Um, it's been, like I said, a year since I last played with the team. Um, I feel sharp. I feel like I'm ready, but yeah, it sucks. But this is still why I come to the field and train every day. Just waiting for that opportunity to come. Preparing myself because I know it can pop up at any time. Fortunately, it hasn't yet. Um, but I don't know. I just have I have this drive to continue on. I try to stay positive as much as I can. The down times are terrible. It honestly it sucks. But try to stay positive just continue staying active preparing myself for whatever comes next because as much of a uh, down point this has been so far I know there's always positives to come it's, there's ups and there's downs I've been through these low points before very low points that I'll definitely talk about later on in future videos if this even goes up I don't know that's kind of what's been going on the last year it's getting to that point where preseasons are starting again waiting and hoping for the best you know, continuing to cast my net out, letting my agent do his work. Yeah, it's, that's the realities of, of playing soccer. And it's scary at points, too. I don't, I can't say for certain I'm going to be able to play with the team again. I hope so. It's why I come to the field and train every day. But nobody knows for certain. You know, you have one bad season, you miss out a season, you have an injury. You don't know what happens next. Life goes on. Continue to do what I want to do. And uh, just train hard and focus. Just keep my head down. It's kind of what I've been doing the last year. Yeah, coming back from England, I didn't think it would be a year. I didn't even want it to be four months to wait till summer. But look where we are now. I just try to keep my mind in a in a good spot and just control what I can control. And that's it's just the work that I put in. Enough with all that. Let's get a training session in. It's raining, so I'm not gonna bring the phone out to film it. But yeah, just wanted to record that. I figured I'd break out the camera again after the session. As you can see, the weather absolutely sucks. It's freezing, I can barely move my mouth. But I just figured I'd talk and reflect on what I spoke about before. Every single time I come to the fields, I always think, why am I here? What am I doing? Especially after 11 months of not playing. I still don't have an answer to that, but I know it keeps me going. At heart, I'm just a boy trying to fulfill his childhood dream. 24 years on, still going, still kicking. But I know I have potential. I know I have a lot to give. I'm not done yet. But I'm driven, I'm disciplined, and I have a little bit of crazy, which keeps me going, which I think you need. And as much as I struggle with this whole journey mentally, just stay positive, just keep my head down and focus. That's just what, it, just what it comes down to. I don't know many other people, one year on, that would still be coming to the field every day, training by yourself, going to the gym, coming out in the shit weather, all for something you don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But I guess a little unique in that way, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, journey's not over. Because I know all the hard work I put in the past year, something good will happen. And then it'll all be worth it.